The One Door Mission is essential for SLCC because it is instrumental in helping to pave roads of endless possibilities for people seeking a better life for themselves and their families. But to accomplish this mission, it all begins with how we as a college communicate these possibilities to the various populations SLCC serves, especially for our future and current students. Allow me to premise this notion with a scenario. How often have you been asked a question that you don't seem to have the answer to? Or better yet, how often have you asked a question but can't arrive at the answer you're seeking to make an informed decision? I'm sure you'll agree that this can be a frustrating experience, especially for those seeking answers about SLCC's variety of programs and services. Simply put, there's an appropriate way to ask a question, like a fitting way to answer it. And just like there's a way of asking proper questions to receive meaningful answers, there's also a manner to communicate effectively, allowing inquirers to arrive at the best possible solution. Likewise, there are do's and don'ts on effectively communicating information about SLCC that help inquirers make informed decisions about their education and training goals. Let's observe a few of these do's and don'ts when communicating information about SLCC. Okay, this concludes the first day of our information session for today. Okay, um, do we have any questions about what we went over? Okay, um, where can I get a copy of my transcript? I started this new job and I really need it. This is not the registrar's office. Our registrar's office is located in all the way in building. If you have any questions about registration of that sort, you need to go to all the way in building. Any more questions? Um, I heard from another student that we could get a scholarship to help pay for our tuition. Um, how would I go about doing that? Sweetheart, this is sociology. This is not a bank. I don't know anything about financial aid. And guess what? My cons are hurting my feet, so I need to hurry up. We need to hurry up and get this sorted out. I want to go home. Yes? I have a question. Do you know anything about the college that you work for? Thanks for coming. All right. Yeah, I appreciate it. Talk to you later. All right. Hey, hey. so I saw your shirt, and I see that you work at SLCC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I've been there for about five years. Okay, cool. Well, I've been thinking about joining the cosmetology program. Oh, okay. Do you know anything about that? Like, I'm really interested in starting for the fall. Okay, so cosmetology is really not my area of expertise. I'm, I'm a theater instructor, so I'm, you know, I don't really know too much about cosmetology, but I'm pretty sure if you go up to one of the campuses and tell them that you want to join um, or enroll in the cosmetology program, they'll be more than glad to help you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Nice yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's not my department. I can't help you with that. Sorry. Thank you. I can't help you with that. Well, that's not my department. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Ah, ah, ah. Hi, my name is Amy Boudreau. Can you refer me to someone that can help me enroll in school? Yes, Miss Amy, I most certainly can. I will refer you to our one-stop um, specialist. Her number is 337-578-2145. Her name is Patricia, and she can be reached Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Um, her email address <coughs> is Patricia. patricia.rogerhand. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I was just trying to uh, get information on scholarships. No problem. Take a seat. I'm going to show you where to find that information. Okay. So if you go to our financial aid page here, and then you're going to drop down the types of aid. And if you scroll down for me, you should see some information. Oh, a little bit up, a little bit higher. Right here. You'll see different uh, scholarships okay. that we have available. Go down a little bit more. You can also see some SLCC specific scholarships. If you click here, go to the scholarships page, and a 
this is where you can apply. You can see about deadlines. So in our apply database, we have all of our scholarships listed. So you can see what you qualify for and you can apply there. And that's it. There's also the process right here if you have any other questions about it. Okay. Is that it? Thank you. Yes. No that's problem. It. All right. SLC's One Door philosophy undergirds the practice of practical, meaningful, and succinct communication styles. This includes how we communicate with colleagues, students, and visitors at any of our nine campuses and abroad. Imagine having a resource that can be instantly accessed to answer any question about the college. Would something like this be of value to you? Whether walking the campus halls, standing in line at the supermarket, or attending a community event, having a resource that allows employees to answer questions thoroughly and on the spot can be a powerful thing. Introducing the Hub 1.0 Student Success Network, the first part of a multi-phase information portal for SLCC. The network is a centralized communications hub that allows employees to quickly access and share accurate and timely information about the many SLCC programs and services available to prospective and current students. The Hub 1.0 Student Success Network encompasses both a philosophy and a resource. Understanding this mindset helps prepare employees to become information generalists rather than content specialists. As generalists, we retain a broader knowledge and understanding of all parts of SLCC, thus allowing us to answer questions that help produce the most significant results. It's an approach where every employee instantly shares information about college programs and services promptly and accurately. As a result, employees become more effectual college ambassadors by serving a broader audience of constituents. The Hub net Network consists of repository information stored in SLCC's Microsoft Teams environment, making this communications tool accessible from any desktop or laptop computer, a handheld device such as a tablet or smartphone, and a Microsoft Teams phone, which will soon replace the current Cisco phone system beginning this fall. The Hub Network repository includes easily accessible up-to-date information on, a, on various items and topics, including division and department information, division and department contact list, frequently asked questions and answers, and program information flyers geared towards current and future students and visitors to the college. As part of the future Hub 2.0 rollout, which will focus on employee success, advanced features may include instant access to portal-based systems such as IT support, marketing and communications and website editing requests, facilities and fleet requests, and direct access to SLCC policies and procedures all via a QR code system. Soon, you will be able to hold the entire college in the palm of your hand, giving you immediate access to everything that's SLCC. The first phase of Hub 1.0 Student Success Network is currently in the beta testing phase with plans to launch later this fall and will include training and instruction on its use. So get ready to open doors for others to experience endless possibilities at SLCC.